Hi everyone, Suzanne Harper here. I am going to talk to you today about life in a 55 plus community. And I've been living in one for four years and I wanna give you my impression of life here. Um, things that I wish somebody would have told me about before I moved in here. And uh, would I do it all over again if I had to make the decision again? Else about living in a 55 plus community. You're gonna have Facebook groups dedicated to your 55 plus community. I happen to be the administrator of one of them. And they're big groups, they're very big groups and they're, they're a place for the homeowners to go and bitch and complain and vent. And uh, fine, we all need that. Uh, one rule we do have though, my page and the other gal that runs the other page, is absolutely no political posts are allowed on those group pages because I'll tell you what, if that was allowed, we would have a freaking civil war going on in here. I kid you not. That's another thing about the 55 plus communities and I, I doubt that it's just the community I live in. Um, there is a lot of political division here. And I'm, I'm guessing, you know, I mean, that's, it's common all over the country right now, let's face it. But I'm guessing even more so in a senior community because people have nothing but time on their hands. They, they are not going to a job and focusing their attention on other things. All they have time to do here is watch Fox News. Okay. Or if you're on the other side, MSNBC or whatever the case may be. But there is a lot of political division and I for one am happy, very happy that we're getting to the end of this uh, election and maybe turning the corner on some kind of unity because we really need it, man, we need it. Not just in this community, but everywhere in this country, you know? But anyhow, whatever uh, faction is in the majority seems to be running the show. So if you have an HOA board, it's like the majority is going to vote their people from their faction into those positions. Um, we have over a thousand homes in our community and we only have three board members. And um, I have, I take issue with that and a lot of people living here take issue with that uh, because the, bo the board members are making very hefty expenditures based on three people voting. And that's the three people uh, on the board. And they're not having the homeowners vote before they make these huge expenditures. And you know that's something to think about. Again, if you're gonna buy into a 55 plus community, make sure you get a copy of those CCNRs and make sure you know and understand those CCNRs and how the board works and what the board's uh, obligation is to the community. Uh, because you might get into a situation like we are here where three people are calling the shots for over a thousand homeowners. And you may not like that. Okay, and another thing is you're, you're going to have um, amenities in your community that you might, may not ever use, okay? I've never used a pickleball court. Um, I've never been to the dog park, and we have two dog parks, by the way. And um, the dog parks, for some reason, seem to be a bone of contention. And I, I say that as no pun intended, a bone of contention. Okay, um, there's something about the grass or the landscaping, there's potholes, people are afraid their, their dogs are gonna get injured. Um, you know, people's dogs are their kids, okay? And no shame there, I'm not hating on that, I understand that, all right? Uh, but there's always like, there's always issues around these dog parks. Um, there's a big dog dog park and a little dog dog park. And sometimes the big dog owner will take their big dog into the little dog park and, you know, all hell breaks loose. Sometimes uh, 
a dog might take a dump and the owner doesn't clean it up, again, that would upset me too as, as a dog owner. Okay, clean up after your, your dog. And uh, uh, that's another uh, bone of contention that comes up on the Facebook pages. Uh, you'll see a post with a picture of a pile of dog poo on somebody's driveway going, thanks a lot to my neighbor who let their dog deposit this on my driveway and then didn't, didn't clean up behind them. You get ostracized uh, here if that happens. You know, uh-uh, uh-uh, you're not going to let your dog defecate on somebody's property in a 55-plus community. No way. The thing about the dog parks, though, is they are a very good social opportunity to meet other dog owners and form new friendships. So it's great for that. For people like me that own cats, well, you know, my kitty cats live inside the house, so we don't really have a thing here for the felines. Sorry. Okay, and the other thing is, remember, when you walk into a model house at a 55-plus community, there are going to be exceptions to the 55-plus rule. Uh, depending on the state you live in or what your CCNR say, and I, I, this is off the top of my head, but you're going to have younger people living here with you in this 55 plus community. I think something like 20%, like as long as 80% of the households are 55 plus, 20% don't have to be. They can make exceptions. Also, if the builder is is selling those multi generational houses, next gen houses, uh, there's going to be um, loopholes allowing people to bring their kids in. And I think the kids, as long as they're over 19 years old, they can live here. Which, you know, 19, that's like college kids. They can live here. They can use your pool. They can use your clubhouse. They can use the facilities. And uh, no little kids, no babies. But uh, there are a lot of grandparents babysitting their grandchildren here. So it's not unusual to see little little children frolicking about in the 55 plus community and using the swimming pool and the facilities with grandma and grandpa. So at the end of the day, if I had to do it over again, would I buy in to this community? Um, I was fortunate to get into this community and it, it happened so fast. And it was, you know, it's like every, the stars aligned and everything fell into place to live here. So I always take that as a sign of a good decision, okay? When you feel like everything is, uh, you're, you're up against a wall every time you turn around, don't make the decision to do what you think you wanna do. Okay, I mean, that's just my lesson in life. But um, yes, as long as you do your homework, find out about the HOA board, um, remember everything needs to be kept up and repaired. Things don't last forever. In fact, uh, we're finding out that after seven or eight years, there's a lot of things we have to replace in our swimming pool, and it's going to probably involve a special assessment. Um, I'm okay with a special assessment. What I'm not okay with is the HOA fees going up, uh, you know, 25 or $30 a year because we happen to be in a master plan community where we pay a master assessment and an assessment for our, uh, our little uh, HOA here. So two HOA assessments. One of them is quarterly. Uh, the one for our community is every month. So another thing to keep in mind, you're paying for your surrounding area. That's just the way it is. Okay, so that, uh, if you're thinking about retiring soon, you know, um, drop a line in the comments. Let me know how you're feeling about it. Uh, again, I was excited and I was anxious at the same time. And uh, I got ushered into retirement because of COVID. Th there was a, a point there where I said to myself, look, I can keep working and triple dip, which would have meant I could have collected my social security, my Teamster pension, and been working full time too. And wow, I'd really be raking in the dough. But again, 
what's more valuable to you, your, 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 your time or the money that you may not have enough time to spend in the end anyhow. So thanks for watching today. This was uh, Suzanne Harper. Thanks for coming by today. Everybody take care of yourself. If you're going to make a big life decision, give it some thought, but don't be afraid of it, okay? Remember, when things start falling into place like magic, it is magic. You made the right decision. Take care, everybody. Have a great day. Mwah. Bye.